Welcome to America's Heroes Group. And welcome back to America's Heroes Group Roundtable with our partner, the National Nurses United. Today is Saturday, October 16th, 2021. October is National Breast Cancer and Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Keep in mind that one in three women suffer violence here in the United States from someone who was in, they're intimate with. It could be rape, physical violence, stalking. One in four men suffer the same issues. Cancer. Breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer am am amongst women in the United States. 3.8 million breast cancer survivors are here today living in the United States of America. And right now we have our, our great guest on the line with us, Ms. Adelina Marshall. I'm Sean Claiborne, National Guard veteran. The host is Cliff Kelly. Executive producer is Glenda Smith. Our digital media producer is Ivan Ortega of Scouts Honor Production. And we're going to talk about how wealth and health are connected and how health impacts wealth. Adelina, are you here with us? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. I'm, I'm happy to be here today to be able to talk to our uh, listening audience and our veterans. And um, I just uh, wanted to share with them how their health care or lack thereof impacts their health and therefore their wealth. Hmm. Um, I just as recently as today, I met a woman. I was talking to her son, and he indicated to me how she, that she was a, a millionaire, owned a lot of property. And as we were talking, he indicated to me his he had um, pain in his foot. He had neuropathy. And then I was like, oh, okay, are you a, um, a diabetic? And he said yes. And he had lost over 100 and some pounds trying to control his diabetes. And I, you know, I pointed to him that, you know, how his shoes were not the appropriate shoes he should be wearing, um, you know, protect his feet. And that his mother came and joined the conversation and she was very worried that he was ill. But it appeared to me that she was even more worried that him being sick would also impact her wealth because she trusted him and who would help her manage these multiple properties um, that she had gained her wealth from. Mm -hmm. So we got into a conversation about uh, dental care and the importance of having dental care, and that brings us into recent conversations with some of the bills that are that uh, the current president is trying to get passed to offer dental care to um, people who are on um, Medicare and Medicaid. And it just brings to mind that if your dental care um, is is poor, then it can also lead to uh, heart disease and uh, other problems because now you're not going to be able to, you know, digest your food properly, to chew it properly. And so <clears throat> those who are wealthy tend to have good dental care. Mm -hmm. Those who are not tend not to. So as you get sick or if you get infected with COVID, you're out of work, uh, you have long-term um, problems, then you're not going to be able to to work and to provide to your family. Your family is going to be impacted because someone may have to be home to care for you. So it's a lot to think about how wealth and health impacts each other. Mm -hmm. And also make sure, audience, that you're joining us on America's Heroes Group on our global live streaming on Facebook. We're on a Facebook Live right now. And also like and share so others can become more connected to the information that we're sharing. You can also listen to America's Heroes Group on iHeartRadio. Just uh, download the iHeartRadio app and search America's Heroes Group and watch us on digital TV streaming on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and our partner Zondra's TV Network. That's Zondra, Z-O-N-D-R-A, on the Roku app. So I think you touched on a lot of important things, um, um, Adelina, because of the fact that, yes, I mean, people that tend to have more money tend to have the best health care, tend to have uh, make healthier choices in life because they have access to things like good nutrition. They have access to doctors. They have access to all the things that they need to, live, to lead a better life and lead healthier lives. Access to education is a big is a big deal as well. So what what are some of the things that we can do if people don't have the, they're not in the higher income streams or income levels? How can we uh, become better at taking care of ourselves and, and being better at being healthy? Well, our veterans are in a good position because they can always come to the VA um, for their for their health care. Um, many of them 
um, can get their dental care there depending on uh, how they're rated, but certainly they should start at the VA. As a matter of fact, um, we have a dentist that um, wanted to work with a lot of the homeless vets, and he wasn't able to get them in. So we encourage him to start walking some of our units and finding some who are designated that because he wanted to donate two days a week to um, helping veterans with their dental care, especially those who are homeless. So there is um, there are dental schools too that will um, you know help you get uh, dental care. So you, you just kind of got to reach out and check with some of the social services. And again, if you're a veteran. Come to the VA. We have three of them in this local area, Jesse Brown, Hines, and North Chicago. And uh, reach out there and let them try to help you with housing, with um, health care, and, and as well as dental care. Also, your eyesight is very important. As we age, we start getting cataracts. Some people end up with glaucoma. And those things have to be treated um, early. So... That's another problem with um, health care and wealth. If you delay your health care, then it's going to cause more problems, more health care problems or more serious problems in that area. So we need to get early diagnosed. And, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just come in and allow us to help you. Hmm. Now, you're a mental health uh, RN, is that correct, with the VA? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can you describe for us the connection also to, because one thing people don't talk about oftentimes is mental health and also the importance of mental health and also how even fragile that can be in some cases. How does, how, can you describe well, how mental health can actually have an impact mm -hmm. on your, on your, how you, on, on some of the decisions you make in daily life that can affect your wealth? Right. So sometimes mental health can start with uh, depression. Depression is mental health. Everybody gets depressed at some time or another. But when you are so depressed that you can't function, that you can't get motivated, that you even lose interest in uh, some of the things that you generally enjoy doing or even watching certain programs and you find yourself no longer want to engage, that could be a sign, an early sign, that you might start having mental health. Mental health is no different than heart disease, than being a diabetic, uh, even having cancer. Mm -hmm. um, people need to seek treatment for all of those, and mental health is, is one of them. Um, being depressed can lead to other more uh, serious mental health issues. And so, you know, start, if, you, if you're feeling depressed, start seeking out and trying to get care Sometimes it, you might be on medication for as little as maybe three to six months, and then you're able to kind of pull yourself out. But sometimes you might have to be on medication for a longer period of time. But again, I look at it just like if somebody was a diabetic, somebody had heart disease, high blood pressure. All of those things have to be treated and managed, and mental health can be managed. Mm -hmm. uh, we do get some of our patients who come in and, and they'll say, well, you know, I start feeling uh, down. I, I need to come in for a couple of days. And we encourage them to do that. Sometimes you just need a mental health checkup. Uh, you might find yourself being more irritable uh, with family and friends or just with life in general, uh, finding that your coping skills now um, are not as good as they used to be. Um, Having depression can also be a sign that there might be other medical issues going on with you. Your sugar could be uh, unbalanced. It doesn't mean you're a diabetic or anything, but it could mean that your vitamin levels are down, you know, vitamin D, vitamin B. So uh, those are signs and symptoms, and I encourage all my patients to listen to the body because the body is going to tell you what it needs. And if you find yourself that you're feeling depressed, that, you know, maybe everyday events are impacting you, then come and talk about it. We have telehealth. Um, you don't even have to come to the hospital. We can have people to talk to you over the computer, over Zoom, 
uh, even over the phone. I used to do groups, um, especially at the height of COVID when we weren't allowing people to come into the hospital. Mm -hmm. And we would do uh, uh, groups, and that gave the veterans a way to connect with their friends, and they were happy so they could check up on each other, and that helped to lift their mood. So there's, there's one thing though I wanted to bring come back to you a little bit because I remember a story, or actually I remember a, a person. One of my, uh, I guess you could call it a personal story. Um, he was going through, um, de- I guess I started out with depression, and then but he was like, you know what, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm all right, I can deal with this. And the next thing you know, he's doing, he's doing, having some strange behavior. The next thing you know, he's not paying his rent. Next thing you know, fast forward two years, he's sleeping under a viaduct. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. He's been. Um, when we found him, we got him into the to uh, treatment, and he, when we found out he has schizophrenia. Mm. So, so the how, what, how do you as because as, when you're going through your, your everyday life, sometimes you're not thinking about what you're doing that might not be uh, normal, what you're doing that may not be healthy. Um, how can you really pin down? How do you pin down and say, okay, I just crossed the line. Maybe I need to get some help. I think one of the earliest signs are behavior. If you are seeing a change in your behavior, if you are um, snapping, if you are slamming doors, if you are uh, not able to communicate in a way that you normally did, if you're very irritated um, real quickly about just anything, if you feel like you're ready to go over that counter after somebody, then those are signs that you need to stop and let me find somebody who can help me with this. Let me get some help. If you're feeling road rage, um, if you're feeling, um, start feeling angry towards just people and life in general, and that is not your norm, then you have to go and seek somebody out. If you find yourself crying, for no reason. You're just bursting out crying. Those are signs. Those are early signs. And if you don't seek uh, help earlier, you can eventually um, become uh, schizophrenic or have other major health issues. Um, sometimes um, those are hereditary um problems but not all the time it can lead it can start with depression with drug use that's another thing if you're finding yourself drinking or seeking drugs to resolve some of your problems or your concerns don't turn to that turn turn to us turn to your health care provider um, especially those veterans please come in and see us you you can walk in you don't even need an appointment you can walk in you can come to the emergency room 24 7 um, we're expanding our emergency room at Jesse Brown uh, to be able to meet the needs of our veterans. So please come in. Do you have a number for us you can give out to the to the uh, public, especially for veterans, so that they need help and need to talk to somebody? Where, where can they call? Well, depend on where they are and where they might want to be treated. Like we also have ABJ in um, Indiana. So we get a lot of veterans that go back and forth. So just you can go online, you can Google it, and then just call, um, you know, whatever VA you want to go to. And we also have a hotline that you can call if you just need to talk, if you're feeling unsafe. Uh, you can reach out and call the hotline. Do you have that hotline number by chance? or? I don't have it. So I Actually, it I just delivered a whole bunch of cards and left it at the front desk at work just so our patients coming in would be able to have access to that we'll, we'll pull it up in our system and then we'll get it out mm-hmm. to the to the public so mm-hmm. tell me a little bit more about um the connection with wealth and health so now we have you have uh, ways that you can get um, um health and treatment through the va that's one way that you can actually you know improve your life and, and live healthier and be better but then how do you take the next step and how do you start to maybe improve your wealth through better uh, living, cleaner living that gets you a, a healthier body, a healthier mind? How does that translate into wealth? So um, if you're not healthy, if you are having medical or psychological problems and you're not able to work, then that's going to impact that. If you have other family members whom 
may have to stay home. I, I um, talk to nurses all the time uh, who, especially one just recently, we were discussing how she had to stay home to take care of both her mother and father because their health is failing. So that impacts on her ability to work, um, having used vacation days, um, to be off, family medical leave. So the best thing is you can't buy good health. I don't care how wealthy you are. You might be able to afford a better surrounding or a, a doctor is going to be at your beck and call. But our veterans have that. They have the VA. We're there for your beck and call. But you cannot buy good health. So while sometimes I say it costs money to eat healthy, um, I just went to the dollar store and bought some cauliflower rice. And I'm going to fix that for my lunch for Monday. I'm going to put a little salmon in it, which I can get at the dollar store. And then I'm going to get some kale and, and greens and um, things like that and, and stir fry it with that. And that's going to be my lunch and probably my dinner if I'm there late. Mm, and so, you touched on something that's important as well is that, you know, being sick costs money. It disrupts it, it disrupts your 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 life. It's caught. It's it's very expensive to be sick. But one way to to help yourself is to eat healthier. Eat healthier and, and get out and walk. Doesn't cost you anything. Chicago is a beautiful city to walk in and just go for a walk. Sometimes that even helps you if you're feeling down to to go out and um, look at the beautiful architects we have. We have a zoo. Uh, right here in, in the city that, that you can go and visit. And I think the museums have certain dates that um, you may not have to pay or pay very little, but just get out and, and get active and cut down. You know, and the holidays are going to be coming. Uh, you know, we know, we talk about uh, food in some of my groups and how we can um, – keep the taste that we've grown to to like um i end up um, buying bone broth on, on sale and i'll use that to cook my uh, collard greens and cabbage mm -hmm. you know so we just have to think out of the box and i uh will go to the store certain days your chicken will go on sale like i think <laughs> it used to be tuesday i don't know but you know, you go there, get you a couple of uh, pieces of chicken that is on sale, so you've already um, saved money there. Look at the breads that you're eating. I try to cut out almost anything white, so I eat darker breads. Rye bread is a very healthy bread um, to eat. So the darker breads, the darker um, vegetables are very good and healthy for you. I, I found some... Um, uh, cucumbers on sale the other day and I cut them up and that's my little snack when I want something crunchy I'm reaching for that instead of the potato chips and I'm a potato chip hot dog queen I love them <laughs> <laughs> but I realized I read something that every time I eat a hot dog that's gonna take 35 minutes from my life and I was like oh no let me put that in the bank for you know for a future day so nothing wrong with getting a cheeseburger and a hot dog but don't do it every day. There Maybe, you, you know, payday or um, whatever, then treat yourself if that's what you want. But try not to eat it every day. Uh, eat harder cheese. If you like cheese, I love cheese. But I find myself buying the cheddar cheese, which I can get at the dollar store, too. And uh, it's a good quality. And, um, and I eat that because it's not as bad for you as the softer cheese. I, you know, love goat cheese and things like that but um, cheddar cheese is um, a healthier cheese to eat mm -hmm. so it's not hard to make those adjustments and and you're not going to deny yourself you know sometimes you might get a craving for you know the pork chop sandwich or something but you can have all of that just maybe don't have the bread that day or um, try to pick up darker bread that will be um more that'll help you sustain your blood sugar and that way you won't be as hungry as quickly and then um you won't be snacking on the things that you you know should not be eating um you know eggs try to 
maybe if you're going to have two eggs, leave the yolk out of one of them. So that way you've already cut down for your cholesterol. There you go. Now, one thing I did pull up, so we do have the VA hotline crisis line that connects veterans and service members. That number is 800-273-8255. That's 800-273-8255. If you're depressed or you think you are doing things that don't seem like you normally, reach out, get some help, talk to somebody about that issue because it's something that can, down the road, cause something other than what you're going through right now. And it could be a lot more serious to deal, deal with it then than it is right now. So right now, if you have any issues, call that hotline, 800-273-8255. And that's the VA hotline for, for veterans. Now, one thing I always thought was, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Excuse me, I want to get this in real quick because of um, National Breast Health Month that women and men will often check their breasts, but you need to also check around your nipple. Because you can uh, have a mammogram and it doesn't show anything, but it could be um, a cancer in the nipple. So if your nipple is changing colors, inverting, um, bleeding, draining, please um, go and see about that, Mm -hmm. both male and female. That's right. And then the thing also, too, I think is really helpful is with growing your own food. You can start growing. You You can get seeds or you can even... Go get a, an apple. We can plant an apple, and it will grow into a tree if you, if you plant it the right way and, and cultivate it. You can do things that, you know, have a home garden inside your house. You can do things that eat healthier and and, uh, and become more responsible as far as what you put in your body. Um, what about herbs and things of that nature, growing those things inside your home? Is that is that reasonable? Is that a reasonable expectation to be able to do something like that? Is that hard to do? You can do that in a window if you have a window. And for men? Tomatoes is um, a very good defense against prostate cancer. And if you are going to plant some tomatoes, then add the eggshell to the dirt because that will add more flavor to it. Wow. That's a good tip. Mm-hmm. Never heard about that. <laughs> you learn something every day on America's Heroes Group. That's a, So put some eggshells inside the dirt that grows healthier and, I guess, tastier tomatoes. Yeah, tastier tomatoes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. So now when we talk about uh, trying to find ways to um, make ourselves healthier, but then at the same time, we're also focused on trying to grow our wealth and actually, and there's a connection we talked about between having money or having wealth and also getting access to better education and healthcare, things like that. How can we educate ourselves to make smarter dis- uh, decisions? And we're on, when we're, on, we're on a budget. So if we don't have, we maybe didn't go to the uh, 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 top notch. You know, we, we can't go to a top notch like a class for you know, to get a uh, a physical therapist or get a personal trainer or whatever. What are some of the things we can do on a on a small dime to make ourselves well, healthier? Radio shows such as this is very um, important in our community because we can get out a lot of information and the right information. I'd like to also say the internet. My patients are always showing me something that um, that they, you know, saw on the internet. Sometimes it's not the right information, but you can uh, do a little research from that. Um, some one of my patients the other day told me he didn't want to get the COVID vaccine because it's got uh, white people DNA. And I asked him uh, where did he get that? He wanted to show it to me, but I said, well. I've never known somebody to turn down a blood transfusion, a uh, organ, a kidney, a, a lung, because it came from someone other than being black. So for people who are getting information that's not right, please, please tune in um, to, to the radio shows such as this. American Heroes, they offer a lot of uh, good information. Even um, financial information is is offered, and we have an obligation to give you the truth. I'm not here to tell you something that's not right. I I don't gain anything from, um, you know, giving you the proper information. I want you to have the proper information. And then as far as wealth, you know, right now with the job market the way it is and there's a shortage of people who are working, you know, if you have ability to, to work overtime, uh, a lot of people I know, and that's how they want to stay healthy because they want to be able to make that money while they can. And so, um, you know, they, they might do an extra day a week or something, 
but they want to make sure they're eating right and they have the energy level and they're um, they're also staying hydrated. Uh, that's very important to stay hydrated. Also, another little tip: um, if you take Gatorade or something in the morning when you take your medication. Well, thanks, Miss Adelina. We're running out of time. We just ran out of okay. our last 30 seconds. Thank thanks for joining okay. us this week. And also, thanks for being a partner. Thanks for being a member of America's Healers Group. Thank you.